Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Complexity Up Against Void Boys. Uh, Zen, I think, stepped out for a moment. He may be back now. Uh, Heck. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. And, uh, yeah, game one, Complexity managed to take late game and definitely had the stronger late game. I don't think Void Boys expected to win that super late, in all honesty. Um, yeah, I, I'm sure they don't, but they just had the wrong time frame to, to yeah. do their pushes. They just missed them from, like, it was just these really important five minutes where you have to push, you have to take a tower, roach on before, it, and have to keep some buybacks in the, in the, uh, in the hand, and if you push on that time, and if it, what boys would have pushed that time, I think yeah. they would have gained the advantage. But, on the other hand now, they pushed three times, were able to get the range backs, nearly the melee racks, fielded complexity pretty well, and didn't have buybacks, uh, in the end, and, yeah, that's what crushed them. Yeah, definitely, and um, I'm going to be able to just win the game off of that in the end. I mean, Complexity had enough time to get their items online, and that's how they got the advantage, in all honesty. They just played passive. They, they knew that White Boys had to do something. Yep. And, uh, yeah, I think Complexity did the, the right thing to uh, gain the advantage again. Dire team pick. Yep, let me find the... I'm trying to find the VOD of the previous game where I saved it. There we go. Trying to go ahead and upload these promptly because I've learned I can actually make ad revenue off YouTube. And I'm like, oh, cool. 30 cents. We're making the big money now, you know? Yeah. But, yeah. We'll see Complexity picking up the Elder Titan this time. Void Boys maybe going with a bit of a push. Uh, Jakiro picked up by them. But we've got Zeus picked up by Complexity already. And this is a hero that... They've really valued a lot higher than many other teams I've watched. Um, yeah. I actually played Zeus in the game I played right before this, although I played half of it without speakers, and things went really badly that game. We don't want to talk about the actual game, but I, I did think, well, I'm just doing research for complexity, because eventually they'll probably pick up Zeus. However, Void <laughs> Boys will get the eventual spirit. A nice setup sum for Jakiro, in my opinion, although he may not be run as a support. Yeah, but yeah, this always had a, has a lot of uh, potential, and I think he was underestimated a lot by the uh, professional teams. His uh, percent percentage of health steal casting spells is yeah. actually huge against tanky heroes. But yeah, the, the downside of this is he is all reliable on the early game. If this has a really awful this early game, and we already saw that uh, once seconds. with Swindleman and playing this. Yep. Um, it's really bad, but if it's kind of okay and you have a good time as Zeus in the mid, la mid, uh, mid uh, lane in the like first 10 or 15 minutes, he can snowball so hard that, yeah, it's ridiculous. Interesting Meepo ban. Oh. Yeah, I... Are they joking around here or are they seriously scared of a Meepo, you think? Uh... I saw Void Boys playing Meepo sometimes, so... I guess you, you're sure it was just, them, too? Yeah, they played Meepo. Wait, let me look it up. Last night, I mean, we had Meepo in Root vs. Pain, but it wasn't any of these players, unless they're using a completely different account, you know? No, it sure wasn't, not, but Meepo is a hero that's currently growing into the scene, and more and more teams used to play Meepo. It's not just like this no-tail thing. Yeah. <laughs> anymore. Or just yeah. Excalibur. Um, and the same thing. Yeah. Five seconds. Okay, I've been see. told to add the Dota 2 Lounge logo to the overlay, um, even if they're not covering our match. And I'll be honest, whoa, that's a little large. Sorry about that. <laughs> Set a half-screen Dota 2 Lounge logo there. No big deal, you know? But uh, I'll be honest, I don't really understand why we're putting it up if... Um, they aren't covering most of the matches, but hey, if it, it'll get him to cover more matches, that's great. Let's uh, stick it right down here. It looks nice. Funny thing is said out that I don't find Void Boys on that Dota, so... <laughs> yeah, they used to be, I want to say, Talent Gaming. Which yeah. Which I believe was a Brazilian organization. Dire team pick. Possibly. It's, uh... Not a team I know too much about, especially being familiar with the Brazilian scene so much. It's kind of surprising that, to me, honestly, that I don't know much about them at all. Where did 
the image go? Go to this. Okay, that's weird. Sorry, trying to edit my overlay and cast at the same time. Funny thing is that we have now the Elder Titans use combination on complexity. Yeah. Uh, with a Rubik, you can steal a lot of good spells, even currently. Puck ultimate, of course, very good thing. Also the AWP. Jack Hero, Ice Path. I don't know, all the spells you could sp steal at this point are actually pretty nice for Rubik. So, um, yeah. The Elder Titan pickup is quite of unusual. Complexity only played at one time. But with 100% win rate. So they won the match. So, yeah. Wow. I don't know. Still unusual to see Elder Titan. <laughs> yeah, it's still kind of sneaking its way into the metagame right now. Um, and yeah. it, but it's, it's not a prominent, prominent pickup as much as it was like when he was first added to Captain's Mode, for instance. When it was every game, Elder Titan, first pick, first ban. We will get to see Dragon Fist Templar, though. And yeah, now I'm beginning like to wonder support? where they're putting Zeus. Support. It's then, a possibility. It's and Elder a possibility Titan as a core? To... Uh, I think the uh, offline Elder Titan and uh, yeah. mid Swindle on uh, or Dragon Fist on the Templar Assassin is a good idea. Uh, because Zeus is a very effective support. Everyone's underestimating even the support's abilities, especially since the uh, since the buff from Lightning Bolt, so you could D ward actively without sentries. It's a very nice thing. Also, yeah, the uh, as I said, life reduce or static field. Yeah, the max health against that means that Void Boys can't just say, "Oh, well, we'll pick really tanky like yeah, they did last game." Not working. It's not going to work. So they have to pick some kind of medium or rather squishy carries and... But not Templar too squishy. Is really, yeah, not too squishy because the Templar Assassin is really great against those. Um, even though they have Jack Hero, who is kind of a right against Templar Assassin, but we'll see. Yep. Oh, wow. Uh, somebody tell me they were actually top five beforehand. Um, ah, okay. No, then I can find them. I, I might be completely wrong on my talent thing. No, no, I think they were top five before. It makes sense, yeah. I'm sorry about that, guys. I, I, I remember. <laughs> I need to get a notebook like set up with all of these teams in it, but I, I, got just, one. <laughs> I haven't had the time lately, honestly. Um, yeah, I just didn't put them in. Yeah. Because I didn't saw them this often. <laughs> Maybe I should. So, let me see, top five. Mm, there are, okay. Didn't play Meepo in this patch, actually. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe the games weren't ticketed, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, honestly. Anyways, reserve time's running out for the Void Boys, and I'm yep. pretty excited what they will do. Pretty often, I... yeah. I want to know what it's going to be, because they just got counterpicked. I mean, they pick up the Puck, and they instantly get picked up the Templar Assassin. Looks like they're planning to shift Puck into the offlane, and put Ember on the mid lane. Really, really smart choice. Yeah. Against the Assassin in the mid lane, working really well, burning the Refraction out. The only downside is that, of course, Flame Guard won't give you any defensive ability in lane, simply because Templar Assassin's damage is all physical, or potentially technically pure from uh, side blades, but... So he will he, he will have a good decent protection against his Zeus ult. Yeah. Not really much more than that. That's the other downside of that. So he is a very squishy hero. But he's also he off the map a lot. Yeah, he's relying on his escape escapability, but you can't escape his Zeus. <laughs> yeah, and the instant lift also from Rubik is a big deal. I don't think Rubik has any amazing steals from him. I mean Searing Chains is okay, Flame Guard's okay. Flame God is amazing on Rubik. Well, Flame yeah, actually, now that I think about it, yeah. Rubik. <laughs> even without the mobility, he'll be fine with that, and eventually Rubik will be mobile, so yeah. Yeah, I, even the, the magic damage of observe of uh, Flame Wait God, a second. Together, with his, together with his null fight, yeah, is I was just thinking. amazing. <laughs> so it would consider, like, say it's 100 magic damage, it would deal less of that to null field or to the flame guard because of the no yes. field, right? Okay, yeah. I wasn't 100% in, in <laughs> sure of the interaction. Sure, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah. Um, he may be able to survive even the puck uh, trying to burst him down if he has flame guard active. So we got the uh, sneaky reeky here for complexity and. Interesting. 
Didn't saw that before. The last time I saw Ricky in the uh, really well played in a competitive match was well, I don't know in the XM last, not this XMG but the last XMG yeah. season where Fnatic played it I think. I know it was picked up um, in TI4 qualifiers or wildcard match rather by Black I want to say but it was not good. It didn't yeah. end up well. And it will be sticking That's with the core. It's really good was with the combination with Io from Fnatic, but there was more than six or eight months ago. Yeah, and with the Templar Assassin on the team, I actually really don't like this because I mean, yes, Jakiro's going to be running as a core, and he's going to want to be fairly greedy, but he can still buy wards. There's... I mean, he could still use the smoke. The smoke is some yeah. decent abilities. Some some extra slow. Silence. Well, now it'll work. Yeah. I was going to plop this on behind the scenes, guys. Uh, sorry about that. We will put it up here in the corner. Beautiful. All right, let's get into let's our introductions. Do. Yep, if you'll take it away with complexity once again. Okay. We have the Freak currently, or Z Freak rather, <laughs> on the other <laughs> Titan. Um, maybe. B is support on Limp. Limp is taking the off lane, it seems like, on the Zeus currently. Mid lane, we have a Dragon Fist on the Templar Assassin, Moon Member on the Rubik, and safe lane from for Swindleman and Zreki. So, yeah, seems like we have an off lane Zeus to just get, grab some uh, XP. And, yeah. Yeah, on the side of Void Boys, though, we will have uh, a Mega Poner on the Vengeful Spirit. Mercy, please, will be on the Ogre. And Fly looks to complete an aggressive tri lane on the Jakiro. They'll not actually spot out Swindle, of course, thanks to his level 1 permanent invis. And I don't think they're going to be able to get a kill now. They'll. Yeah, I see where they place the board, and this is huge. If Swindle melons, yeah, he will know where they place the board. He should realize, at least, yeah. Um, they're just going to roam toward the mid lane. In the mid lane here, speaking of which, we have the Burning Ember Spirit. And um, Tiberon, the shark, of course, on the puck in the bot lane. I just feel like Complexity's draft is greedy in more but ways than usual. I think the bot lane now, so it's a it's a dual lane bot, and that could yeah. actually work out pretty well. I mean, the lightning bolt deals a lot of damage together with the natural order. He could really destroy the puck on the bot lane. He's solo, so uh, yeah. Yeah, Let's I uh, in this oh. rune, adventure spirit mid lane. And Could Ogre, or Jakiro backing him up. It's actually going to be offlane Ogre, not offlane Jakiro. I've read that wrong. I'm sorry about that. I, I did question it a little bit because Fly um, had been playing support. But I was just assuming they'd switched him up. But Mercy Please is going to be offlane on the Ogre Magi. One of my yes. personal favorite heroes. And I still think he's good in the offlane. I know there's been a lot of back and forth about it on Reddit and everything, but... I think he works well. He just needs XP to get his fire blast, uh, his, his multicast on, yep. and then, then he can roam. I mean, he's decent. He just needs XP. He's pretty tanky, and he get his snipe to slow down others. So uh, oh, it could work out. Oh my God! Yeah. Well, of course, I think you missed it too. Yeah. yeah. Z Freak gonna find first blood on T Baron. They do oh, kill oh, yeah, off the courier. So that was oh. the bottle. That was Dragon Fist's bottle on that courier that uh, Omega was able to take down. Yeah. And. And Invis someone... rune could use. Yeah, I, I, I think Moonyanda saw them pick the Invis rune earlier, and he tried to back off the TA in the mid lane, but I don't think they realized <laughs> was still there. He wasn't holding hands with the courier as it walked down the lane. Yeah. That's really amazing for bot boys denying the Templar Assassin's bottle, but I guess Dragonfist will. Nevertheless, uh, nevertheless, have a good time. Oh my god, Rubik! Oh, Mumia that could have maybe put Shakira on the hill, but he decides not to. Yeah. He will go down instead. Yeah, Mumia will get taken down by the Ember Spirit. Sorry about that. I was uh, paying attention to uh, Phage, uh, who has snuck his way into the channel here. And uh, he mentions Riki's been picked nine times in 6.82, going 6 and 3 with two pickups each from EE, QO, and Ice Ice Ice. Most recently played by Ice Ice Science uh, about a week or two ago in Star Series 11. So. Yeah, there's a gang in the mid lane, but not going to happen. <laughs> Stomp. I mean, he could have stomped and uh, get a nice melt, but he didn't stilt it. So. There's no melt, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I've, for Dragon Fist, this is going to work out okay. 
He's playing very conservative with his mana, and I think that's honestly why he didn't pick up Melt just yet. Because you do have some mana problems as a TA if you don't get your bottle charges off well. Swindle's trying to sap XP and actually will get hit by an ice path there. And that's a really, really aggressive off lane currently. It's yeah. Ignite skill then uh, the liquid fire and they will just try to burst down the Swindle Mage or to rather uh, yeah, put out of put out of a region. Tear him down, yeah. Every time they see him, they can basically throw off these two spells and just say, Hey, we know your health's sticking down. Sure, you've got 5 HP regen, that's great and all, but you can't just stick your head out and farm because then you lose that regen. You're not like our ogre buddy here who just sits in lane and gets but so it's much still fine. You get still a free XP and uh, it's decent. The sentry board now has been placed, so... Yeah. Yeah, it, it is fit, forcing Swindle to play very defensively, though. And. Wicked is a hero, one of the carries that, besides Star, aren't really reliable on this massive farm on the early game. It is true, yeah. Just with his natural agility gain and a pair of boots and something else, and I don't mean a core item, I mean like a blade of alacrity, something else, he can really dish out a lot of damage. And he's able to be very active early on, just due to the fact that he has permanent invisibility. And the new burst damage they can bring out with his ulti is really big. I'm actually a little surprised that he's not going for anything even under his own tower. He will throw out a silence, though. And fly. Gonna get hit once. Not hit in the back, though. And they'll be able to hit him with a lot of damage before he goes invis again. Keep in mind, this is still just a level 1 permanent invis. So... He's going to be out there for quite a while. I mean, eight seconds of doing nothing is what's going to get him to invis again. Yeah. But still, they will get a fast tier one tower on the top lane MCs. Yeah. But yeah, as, as long as Ricky gets XP and if he gets his blink strike, he can start to get active on the map and white boys need to have sentries everywhere when this happens. Yeah, I if Ricky had a hard stun, I think we would honestly see him play to support. Of course, he'd be completely OP. But actually, Elder Titan rotating in. He'll get a stomp off on both of them. And Swindle, gonna take down Mercy, please. Finally finding one of those kills. And Riki is one of those heroes that he doesn't need to farm creeps because about level 6, he just starts going around and farming heroes. I mean, sure, you can put down Not wards. Not spirit could be enough. Oh, Not quite. Was... Limp. Limp doesn't have mana. Yeah, he was sacrificing the oh. creeps. Yeah. Oh, if Limp was quick enough, though... He could have actually gotten off Arc Lightning in time. I, I think it would be better for him to just like pull back the Esper Spirit, get the extra movement speed and uh, rush a bit. That could have helped as well. But, I mean, a missed kill. They're still ahead by one kill. Meanwhile, TA did go down mid lane to the Ember Spirit. Yeah. They're, well, they're not ahead one kill, actually. They're even. There's a deny there. Yeah. But this... Uh, it's quite usual that TA has a hard time in the mid lane against an Ember Spirit, but... Uh, still, also the TA is not really that much relied uh, on the farm. The Mel does a decent amount of damage, and together with Ricky, I think they can yeah. work out pretty well. Yeah, yeah, a lot of armor like reduction with Ricky as well. Yeah, it's it's really just not the Invis, uh, permanent Invis build. It's just rather a gap bank uh, uh, build for the Ricky right now. Blink Strike level, 3 points in backstab. You want to get active. I definitely think you need to max your backstab early on. It needs to be one of the first two things you max, either that or permanent invis. And if you're, if you know they're already buying sentries, go ahead and max backstab because the invis isn't going to do much for you. You know. I mean, it depends oh. if you have a, a really mid lane dragon fist going it, down quick. He's melting. There will be a nice lift from Moon on burning and a really nice uh, trap placed down by PA. Or TA, excuse me. Yeah, um, was nice. Yeah. But yeah, Oops. if the wiki really has a safe, safe, uh, a safe lane and he can farm without being uh, contested, I think it's not really that good to to max backstack. Or you want to just like go actively roam around the map. But if the wiki just like stays on the safe lane for 15 minutes or something, he could also uh, do permanent invisibility first to yeah. just be safe to get ganged and. Yeah, then have a really high amount of value to gank early, uh, in the earliest 20 minutes or something. 
I'm interested to see what kind of boots he goes for. I know that treads are generally preferred on Riki because of the agility, but phase boots are honestly not the worst choice now that he doesn't get revealed when he uses an item. And actually, Swindle, gonna jump on Burning here. They'll get the Zeus ult off. It'll get blocked by that Flame Guard, but it won't be quite enough as Swindle Mellis needs one more mm. Blink Strike. He won't quite get it. He doesn't have another charge, actually. Nice silence there. He will manage to disjoint the Ogre um, Ignite, but Moomeander will be going down. They'll throw down a Sentry Ward under the tower. That's the second ward they've placed under a tower, actually. Yeah, that was pretty comes in. devastating. Oh, no Puck killed Elder it. Titan over here near the rune as well, and Swindle does die there. We did catch that one. But Void yeah. Boys, they're looking good. I'm... Oh my gosh, I put the score wrong, by the way. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Void Boys is, uh, is leading currently, but it's still, just like this is the last game, they have the early game, they apply huge pressure early on, but is it really worth it? I mean, they're giving up a lot of farm on the other lanes, uh, so complexity could just like let one or two T1 towers fall, farm in the meantime, and come up on top. Yeah, it's definitely I think a it's possibility. Really Sorry, I had a yawn. Fight. It's not really necessary to fight for complexity, I think. They need levels up very early on. Um, once TA f gets another item up, I think it's a comfortable zone they can fight in. Right now, Riki is only sitting on 16 Ogre last hits. Die. And actually, yeah, that. Ogre might get caught out here, but they're not jumping on him just yet. Swindle will actually reveal just himself. Ah. And they would just want to farm, that's all. Managed uh, to get farm. Okay. Target acquired. I mean... It, with Ogre being there alone, though, they don't know he's alone for sure, but... It's a big, big beast, so, so he has nearly 1.2k life. Uh, yeah, Riki bring can't bring him down fun. easily. And now that he's working on that Ag Scepter and has the point booster available, that's going to be very helpful. He doesn't have much mana, though, after he TP's down. Maybe Puck will share a drink with him. Oh, there's an initiate on the bottom lane. And they're Luke getting... Behind. Silenced up and taken down. The Ogre Magi finding yet another kill. Ogre Magi is actually second place in terms of last hits and second place in terms of net worth as well. Um, he's been doing excellently simply because Riki can't put up with him and Jakiro in the top lane. And um, I mean, really... Riki's finding some farm currently, so yeah. But in the early game, I mean, it, it let Ogre go ahead and get a leg up on him. Yeah, he needs to TP out the ignite. Blast him. He'll he'll live though at least. I think. Yeah, close. <laughs> yeah. Takes him down to about twenty five, but the fountain region will override that. Stack. They're farming a huge deck, Templar Assistance getting a lot of farm now. Yeah, and this is really big for Dragon Fist. He's sitting on a eleven hundred right now. This will be his drum finished, I believe. Assuming that's what he's going for, which I don't see any reason why not. Yeah. It's usual to get the drums first, so why not? Get some extra movements big. And yeah. It seems like the game slows down a bit. Just a bit here. Yeah. I feel like Void Boys want to still be a bit aggressive. They want to get that Ogre Angs up, I'd they say, around 18 minutes. And they're doing just great on that. I mean, 1,700 to go on a full Aghanim Scepter, and we're 11 minutes in. I don't think Ember Spirit will have a decent impact in the late game in this uh, particular matchup against Ricky. Even now, yeah. look at that. I mean, Ember's okay. having a lot of farm, and he was just like bursted down from Ricky. Easy. Yeah. And it is, um, well, it's actually magical damage from the Blink Strike bonus damage, which is. Danger. Actually, it's only 50 bonus damage, so it's not that much, really. The uh, physical damage coming out from the backstab is much more of a big deal. And actually, Puck, he'll get the coil off on Swindle. Swindle will go ahead and. Uh, yeah, and it's a rogue trade again. Yeah, and Set fly armor for an offlaner. Yeah, it's a very nice trade. Plus a support or offlane slash it's a support, support. <laughs> at this point. If you look at net worth, it's a support whether he yeah. wants to be or not. Oh, I mean, but Ember coming in. He'll nice. find Moon Meander. He'll get slowed down by Templar. He's gonna go for one more remnant, and he'll be able to take down Moon with the Flame Guard, I believe. There's a stop coming out from Elder Titan. Nice juke there from Burning. A double multicast coming out from Mercy, please. Z3 Ooh. gonna run to Roche, but can't find an escape here as Moon. Mega Poner comes in with the Wave of Terror, and that'll finish off his urn as well. I mean, still, Jakiro's decently farmed, so and has a lot of XP. 
so yeah. Yep. I wouldn't consider him as the classic uh, support at this stage. Yeah, let's see. They siege the tier 1 tower mid, and it seems like Complexity want to contest this. But Emmer, he's got other plans. He's gonna go in, he'll get his searing chains off on 2. Moomiander getting multicasted up here. He'll be forced to back off a bit, but he's gonna die to this Ignite. Or just the Vengeful Spirit stun, but Vengeful Spirit gonna fall as well. Dragon Fist on a killing spree as Riki yep. takes down the, the Emmer Spirit. <laughs> yeah, it... I mean, it seems a little silly to be looking at a professional match and saying, Oh my god, Riki's so strong, but... Even when you don't even look at the fact that he's invisible, his backstab passive is incredibly oh strong, and a huge macro pyre set up by an ice path. That's going to be two going down. Swindle's still standing here. He'll get a backstab, or a blink strike, rather, off, but he is dusted up, and I think he's going down as well. Yep, Tiburon will find the orb to kill him off there. Nicely done by Void Boys. Managing to make another great trade, even off what looked like a really bad fight for them. Still, I mean... Of course, they, they gain a lot of XP and gold from it, but on the other hand, Cole did manage to get some really important kills. Uh, so, I don't really think it was really quite that much they gained from this uh, fight. Still, it's something, but in the end, it's it's always a relation to how much does your team on your, on your, or your heals actually scale that much with the farm you gain. And yeah. Nikki as well as Temple Assassin, also Zeus, scale very well this farm. Uh, on the other hand, Ember Spirit needs a basic amount of farm to, to uh, be able to scale well. Yeah, we got Shakira actually taking down Templar Assassin. I'm sorry for missing these kills, guys. Um, looking on the heroes we're talking about at the moment and actually uh ward actually placed back behind the tower i they can't see it because it's actually a dire ward haha -ha. <laughs> yeah. it's one of those awkward it's things you dire, do but in the meantime on the top lane swindle is still farming void boys are five manning in the early stages of the game which is not always positive uh, a positive thing if yeah the uh, opponent's team react properly and if the opponents are really dependent on XP, they're going to get a huge experience advantage over this. And Ogre Magi, he's level 10 right now. We look at Riki, he's level 11. They're coming out of those lanes pretty even. And uh, the supports on the side of complexity, at least, are really starting to suffer. In fact, Limp is still level 8. Ogre Magi on the other side, who was in the offlane, is level 11. Yeah, that's uh, the downside, but... I mean, the gold advantage, 7.5k for Void Boys, 4k in the experience part. They do pop off the ult, though. Yeah. From Zeus, just trying to, um... Skulls, find yeah. something, but... Ricky not feeling safe enough to jump on anyone. I think he's just gonna try to leech XP for a moment here. Yeah, and I think that's more important. Oh. Elder Titan gets killed off by a neutral. Okay. Yeah, I did, he did it on perfect, I think. That's a 16 minute Ags on Ogre though, and Swindle, he's dusted up, he's hit with an Ice Path, he'll jump on Puck, he'll actually silence him down, but he'll get stunned by Omega Poner, and one more right click will do the job with that extra armor reduction coming through, and Swindle beginning to fall apart here. Yeah, in the meantime, Ember Spirit was taken down the mid lane, so it was an yeah. even trade, or even a trade in favor of complexity, because, yeah, as I said, I mean, of course, Void Boys have the lead and gold and XP, but every kill from Complexity will will push them back on the top again. Yeah, it's so. that rubber band effect of 6.82, and yep. it's definitely going to be at work here, because they are much further behind than they were in game number one. And they don't have these really gold-reliable heroes. So, let's just say, fast forward the game to 70 minutes in. Everyone's six-slotted. Who wins the game then, in your opinion? Oh, of, of course Complexity wins it. Even and over an I'm Ember really with, sure. like, say, yeah. two Battle Furies and a Daedalus. They, yeah, of course. They okay. have an Aedalus Titan and they have his Zeus, which True. is Better really late game nice. And they also have a Ricky. I mean, a Ricky with the help of TA bursting down some armor, the Ricky late game is insane. Yeah, and he's going for a very agility-focused build. I'm yeah. assuming And he just needs a BKB. Be... I mean, what will they do against the Ricky when they, when they have a TV, uh, BKB? They can't stop him. Yeah. Yeah, when the diffuser is ready and he catches someone in the smoke, he can get the ember for sure, he can get the puck for sure, he can yeah. snatch whatever he like. And as soon as you get this diffuser blade and they're catching a good fight, with a lot of farm on the Ricky, they can't stop him anymore. Top tower is under attack. 
Yeah, they, uh... I was looking at Complexity's lineup when they picked up the Ember, or when Void Boys picked up the Ember, rather, and basically said, hey, they don't have enough silence. Riki provides that, and he provides it not only in an AoE, but also fairly instantly from his Invis, rather than someone like Drow or uh, Death Prophet that has a very, fairly long animation. There's the Ags of Ogre in action that was up just two minutes ago. They'll take him down. Templar looking for an Invis rune. Limp will get multicasted down as well. That's a lot of mana spent from Ogre. Yeah. But I think they're okay complexity it. keeps on playing like this, of course, Void Boys. We're Are gonna, gonna win. win. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I was assuming in our 70 minute scenario that they're yeah, on an even course. farm, but yeah. I mean, Ricky, would people also forget, Ricky is kind of squishing the early game, also in the mid yeah. game, but in the late game, Ricky is a tank. I mean, he has so much armor and. Even his uh, uh, HP gain is not that bad. Also with the yeah, items that Ricky usually want to wield. So, uh, uh, Ricky can be hard to kill, actually. Yeah, not just because of the invis. The other thing I think Ricky does really well is starve your supports for money. Just like, guys, we need more detection, we need more detection. And I mean, you buy 10 sets of dust, that's almost 2k gold, like... <laughs> yeah. But complexity, not looking too good right now. Sorry, I just had to uh, blame myself for that one there. I just realized it, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Rick needs to be careful. Yeah, he's uh, behind enemy lines pretty deep. Yeah, he's in a decent position right now. If they have a off. dust on Ember. Oh. There's a multicast, though, taking out Moomiander really quickly. The uh, silence comes out from Ricky. Sorry for the crappy camera there. We did have an Earth Splitter that came out, did some serious damage to Swindle. Gonna get multicasted down. Jakiro with the ownage spree now, 23 to 11 now, as Z Freak actually does find a second kill, Puck's gonna be on the run here, and actually he'll manage to use up the Ember Spirit, silence him as he comes down, he's gonna try to man fight, but without that buff from the Astral Spirit, he won't do much, that's a full team wipe, going the way of Void Boys, and uh... Yep. Complexity really is in some trouble right now. Especially with the blink on Ogre. Um, Honestly, I'm kind of surprised he isn't getting a gem just yet. He may be waiting to get it until after this blink. But I think with a blink, a gem, an axe, and a soul ring, Ricky needs a BKB instantly. Yeah. And he's not even close to it. His form has stagnated the past minute or so. I think he tries to rush in uh, Diffusion Blade to get some, some mere impact in the fights to be able to get the Pock or an Ember on his own. Um, could also work out, but in this position they are right now, I think a BPB may be better. On the other hand, the gym on the bench. if you have the damage, where's it? Where, where, what's what's the BKB doing? You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's keeping you alive to just die a little later, basically. Yeah. It's a very good point and Let's something see, that's not always pop. thought of. He doesn't have his defusal yet, so he can't purge it off. He gets stunned once. There's the second multicast, and mercy please, now on a wicked 6th street. He is 7, 1, and 9 on the Ogre Magi. Yeah, still, let's let's see if White Boys hit, his, hit their timing to push a base this time. Yeah. I mean, they have a decent advantage. They have a really good push this time, too. I think a yeah. bit better than they did last game with the Jakiro. But it's always a, a task to claim the high ground, and against the Nembus and Elder Titan, it's... It's really hard. hard. Yeah. That's like setting up a free Earth Splitter, basically. Yeah, and also, yeah, the uh, you're pretty much always hit by the natural order. Yeah. We will see them go on Elder Titan right now, though. And Z Freak could be going down. This could be their opening to break high ground. There's no buyback on Z Freak. There's a Battle Fury up on uh, Ember Spirit, as well as Boots of Travel and some more. Sorry for the lack of camera there. We did get Moon Meander going down to Mercy, please. On a monster kill streak now. Laughing yeah, all the way now that he's guys. godlike. Oh my goodness. And this should be GG. at least a set of wrecks. I wouldn't call it GG, but a set of wrecks and a huge disadvantage for complexity. Can we start calling him OP Magi, please? <laughs> like... I mean, this was kind of... Kind of lineup fail from complexity. Yeah. Regarding the, the dual offlane with Ogre and uh, Jakira, and a pretty smart choice from White Boys to so just like burn down the Ricky, let him not let him not farm the lane. And uh, yeah, meanwhile, the Ogre 
get a really, really fast item scepter, which helps them a lot, so... Yeah, basically Void Boys said, oh, you want to go duel off with a Zeus Elder Titan, a weak duel offlane? We'll take a Jakiro Ogre offlane, one-up yeah. you, and ruin your carry. So, it's great that your offlane's creating space, but there's nobody left to create space for at this point. Your carry is already poor as dirt. Yeah, and complexity. I mean, it was a good idea to to get the combination of the uh, natural order with the yeah. Zeus ultimate and he saw his, uh, the the uh, Templar assassin with the Ricky is also a very good combination. But in in this against this particular matchup uh, from Void Boys, I think don't think it's uh, it's too it's too squishy, too risky. It could have worked out, but yeah, yeah the the complex uh, possibilities of complexity are not that big. They, they basically are relying on Dragon Fist to carry them at this yeah. point, because Riki's not doing much. And the yeah, problem with TA is a hard they, carry. They have to take it late they, game. They and depend on Swindle. Yeah. Because Swindle is the one who's ditching out the most damage, even now. Uh, the TA has no refraction, gets burned off immediately, but Swindle gets caught up all the time, again. He's 3 or 7. And Elder Titan Stomp won't even save him at this point, and... Uh, they can't really reclaim the gem at the moment. Zeus Holt goes out, though. Doesn't do much damage to many, but Rubik does take down Puck. Mercy Plea is still strong, though, as he takes down yet another. And Zeus takes down Vengeful Spirit in return, but... But at what cost, you know? Ogre's going for a Bloodstone. Okay. They bring down the uh, Ember with the buyback on Moon. I believe it was buyback anyway, yeah. But Ogre will just come back in and say hi. I would like four times multicasts, please. Yeah, and at this at this uh, point of the game, <laughs> he actually there's he, nothing there's nothing oh to do for complexity else to hope just for mistakes of white boys. Zin, the ogre is only level fifteen. Yeah. He gets better. <laughs> yeah, I know. <gasps> That's the worst they, part. They like have hope, they have to hope white boys are doing some serious mistakes to come back into this game. But if they Seriously. will come back into this game, I, I think they have the upper hand. But I doubt it. I, I, I doubt that they, they white boys will throw it this time again. They need a I big mean, last opening. Time it wasn't even a throw in this case. So. Yeah, I wouldn't even call last game a throw. I just say they just got outplayed. This displayed, yeah. Yeah. I get I get sick of everybody being like, oh, somebody lost must be throw. Yeah, no. There's it's a not difference. That, it's not that, yeah, it's it, there's a difference. Somebody could say complexity throw this game, but it's just like a misplay, and uh, this particular lineup of complexity could have also worked out if they had some early catches, if they get an early advantage. Yeah. Yeah. And they just weren't able to. The laning situation for Void Boys is very well read. And complexity tried to go really greedy. Again, yeah. like, I Thank like the pickup of Limp, though, where he's able to de-ward, but... Cool, you're de-warding. Let's not pick a hero just for de-warding, especially not a core. Yeah, also, I think Complexity have made some individual mistakes rather often in this game. Yeah. Being out of position quite some times, uh, Swindle Madness was catched a lot of times, out of position, Dragon Fist also had one or two moments in the mid lane, but he should have know known that he uh, yeah, couldn't be so far ahead. He does yeah. have his defusal, and Dragon Fist does have the BKB. This is... I mean, it's now or never for Complexity, I think. They need to take this timing and really do something with it. Whether they take a tower, whether they take a good team fight, a Roche... Yeah, but Earth Boys are doing the same mistakes again yeah. right now. They feel, they feel they have the advantage right now, of course they have, and it might oh. even happen, yeah. They, they could potentially successfully siege the high ground here. The worst but part is Dragon risk. Fist, his BKB just got yeah. bought out. But, um, he didn't get it off the courier in time, and that means no buyback. No BKB, he's dead for 40 more seconds now, and he's in a lot of trouble. Yep. Yeah, and Swindle oh, comes dies Zeus. again. There goes Swindle. Yeah, no buyback. Ogre Magi Bloodstone, 27 minutes in after an Ags and a Blink. Still, I don't understand why Bright Boys didn't take Roche before. Of course, I have the upper hand, but if something goes wrong, it's always nice to have the Aegis. It's nice to have that safety net, yeah. Zeus does get a Yules. Not even off. It's someone else's. And Moomiander gets swapped out. They'll take him down now. And it's. It doesn't even make a difference. I think this game is over. <laughs> GG any minute, yeah. Um. 
at yeah. this point, just save face. At least just call it just to get the team's spirits in check here. No way. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't see the comeback. I. It's forty to fifteen. I mean. Yep. Yeah. It's just they. They have some really squishy people, which of course, Swindle Menace, Zeus. Yeah. It's always. It's. It's. They're easy to burst down, and with the ogre having this really early Agnum Scepter, it's really hard for them to even stay in the fight without dying instantly. Like it I feels would like say even Swindle for Swindle Swindle. has to catch the ogre in, in the smoke. And then kill him in the smoke. Yeah. Which is near impossible at but this point. there's a Vengeful Spirit to swap him out also, so... Yeah. And there's... Are there any Force Stabs yet? Not yet, but eventually, like... Going later into this game, assuming they somehow make a comeback here, there's gonna be four staffs. I have almost no doubt about that at the moment. Yeah, for sure. It's just, in a morale standpoint, like, it, if this were the elimination game right now, and you knew you were never gonna get another chance in the tournament, I'd say sure, okay, fine, fight it out to the end. But seeing as you have to play another game immediately after this... I'd tap out right now. I'd just say, okay, we're done. Mm, I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, the guys really take it professionally. They want yeah. They, they want to be the uh, uh, be the best, obviously, as every Dota player wants to be. And oh, of course. They they will want to take their chances, and they have still chances. I mean, it's it's not over yet. Still, their racks behind. They're massively behind in XP and and gold. But we've seen bigger throws, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> They, that's what I tell people in pubs. The enemy team can still throw. It's possible. I mean, in pubs, it's 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 rather likely, I would say. Yeah, but I mean, it still holds some truth here in the competitive scene. Swindle gonna get a smoke off and get melted. Not gonna happen. Oh my gosh, OP Magi, Volvo, please. Oh, but a nice, <laughs> nice, nice Earth Glitter. Still, the bench is alive. Uh, oh! Oh. <laughs> yeah, he gets away with the swap, but gets hit by the side blades anyway. Mercy please be on godlike now, as Templar does go down. I believe that BKB is still... No, it was actually used there, and he's still taken down. And yeah, GD's called. Yeah. I was gonna ask you, like... Now that they have tapped out here, do you think it will affect the team's morale going into Game 3? Do you think they'll still be able to say, Hey, we, we did our best, whatever? I mean, it was an experimental draft. Yeah, we really don't we don't much uh, we don't see very often, but uh, yeah, I don't I don't think they will they will think a <laughs> hey, man we need to we need to care. They show that they with a decent lineup they can bring down Void Boys, so I doubt it that they will be quite feared now. Yeah. It was a really awkward lineup, so yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see if they can get a better draft next game. I imagine they'll be able to. Of course, I'm SP Revolution 5, joined by Zen, the co-manager of Complexity. And we'll be back with game number three, match point for both sides on the Battle of America's season number two. Thanks for watching, and we will be right back.